Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis and today in Defcat Tactics I'm going to be talking about a post-battle review. I had a 2000 points game, Death Guard versus the new uh, Snaga Boy Orcs uh, with, uh, with kill rigs and, and the whole, and the whole uh, thing. So um, with, uh, with no further ado, let's uh, get started. So today, the 18th of November, uh, 21, um, I'm going off for, uh, for a small vacation next week, so I'll probably not uh, make, make so many videos next week. Um, so as I said, 2,000 points uh, post-battle analysis and the key learnings from, from, the, from uh, Death Guard versus Orcs, and was really interested to, to see how, how I would fare against the kill rigs. Uh, I'll go through the quick uh, list overviews, the mission and the deployment, then uh, looking at the, the game uh, turns and the result, and then, uh, and then key learnings uh, from the game. Before I start, big thanks and a shout out to all my patrons. Uh, so uh, you, you guys, you know, you know who you are, and uh, a very big thanks uh, for your support. Um, and uh, and uh, with no further ado, let's take a look at the lists. So um, for this game, we, we wanted to play a kind of semi-competitive um, game and I made a death guard, uh, almost 2000 points, Mortarion's Anvil with eight command points. I basically took my tournament list and modified it, uh, taking away Mortarion and the Contemptors and then adding some, some other units uh, to, to, to try out versus the Orc. Uh, and um, I used the Mortarion's Anvil Battalion so a demon prince uh, with the wings and the sword being the warlord with the warp insect hive relic and he also has the hulking physique warlord trait being able to ignore ap minus uh, one and twos uh, that could prolong his uh, his uh, longevity in the game uh, then we have the lord of contagion with a man reaper and he has the gloaming bloat uh, warlord trait i mean the more in the mortarian's anvil both the relic and the trait are are super good uh, Cutting, shutting down Overwatch and any kind of rerolls, uh, basically maybe not super useful against against the orcs. Uh, but when I made the list, I didn't know if I would be facing orcs or uh, uh, tyranids or necrons or, or some other army. And then uh, the malignant playcaster, curse of the leper, and and plague wind um, uh, for for 95 points here. So three three um, three units in the HQ. And then in the troops, uh, one uh, small unit of, of plague marines with one flail. Uh, didn't have uh, the the money for the for the blight launcher in this list. And then um, three groups of of pox walkers, one big blob blob of twenty, two uh, units of ten pox walkers. And then in the elite slot, two units of three death shroud, uh, the one group with the reaper of the glorious entropy extra relic, and then uh, just one normal death shroud group. And then, uh, of course, very important to bring the Foul Blight spawn uh, with Revolting Stenshrat's Relic. He also takes Arch Contaminator uh, Extra Warlord trait. And then the Viscous Death Pathogen bringing his, uh, his, uh, um, his, his Flamer up to Strength 8 and be able to reroll the number of, uh, of shots. And then also bringing the Taliman uh, in this list, there is no need for the Tollkeeper Relic, not so important to get Exploding Sixes, basically it's only the Plague Marines here, uh, the, the Death Shroud, you will not get Exploding Shooting Sixes, so the, the Taliman, uh, just to bring some command points, and yeah, he was on the turn list, and uh, want to, to keep to keep uh, Mr. Taliman in the list. And then, in the fast attack, uh, two furted blow drones, one with the mower, and, um, and one with the spitters, um, speeders, I also think, uh, could be quite interesting now uh, when facing non-space marine armies here. Uh, and then uh, two chaos spawn in the fast attack slot. I, yeah, I, because in the battalion I couldn't couldn't use four slots, so I, I just put them in one group. Hopefully, I could have a game where they could survive. And then in the heavy support, three plague verse crawlers, two with uh, with entropy cannons uh, and the slugger, and one uh, with speeders and volley gun. Again trying to also try this uh, this variant i haven't played with it uh, before um, the speeders and and the volleygun and uh, now where the mortar doesn't have a minimum range it's not so bad to to move forward with one of the tanks and keeping the other back as a firebase so as i said modified my tournament list uh, removing the mortarian contemptors uh, demon prince takes a bit the role of mortarian of, of being a bit a bit stick uh, the fully buffed uh, foul blight spawn is joining 
the Chaos Lord I had for my tournament list is upgraded to Lord of Contagion, which is much stronger in, in melee and in general and can spread the Contagion better. I add the Blotrons for the speed and they can go together with the Demon Prince and trying out the Plague Burst Crawler with the Spitters. The list uh, I was about to face, uh, 2000 points Orcs, starting with 7 command points. Um, so there were two battalions, a battalion, uh, two uh, detachments, a battalion of, of Goths. So in the HQ we have the Beast Boss on the Squigosaur, who is the Warlord, 450 points. Uh, a Weird Boy um, with, with um, a Psyker for 70 points. In the troops, uh, three Beast Snaga Boys, 10 man troops, 110 points each. And then in the elite slot, slot five mega knobs uh, with dual kill saws, so really strong in melee with a lot of attacks and three wounds each. Uh, they are 225 points, so very a big a big melee threat from this unit. And they become uh, let's say one in each detachment can become a specialist something, and they have the truck boys, which allows them to. Um, to disembark after the the truck has moved. So with the truck moving, the Meganox summing out three inches, then they can advance and then they can charge. So that their threat range is is very is very long or very very large. Two units of uh, six Squeak Hawk boys, also a very strong unit, 150 points, very strong in melee also. And then in the heavy support, uh, two kill rigs. Um, with uh, with the the kill rig is 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 is, is, ra is very crazy. It has both a character. It's a transporter. It's a psyker. It's a vehicle. Uh, it has basically everything. It has psychic abilities. It can shoot. It it is strong in melee. It's open top transport for the for the snaga boys, for example. Uh, and uh, yeah, here it's uh, with a shocker hull, and here it has the the the, the it has it, they took different uh, uh, psychic spells here. And finally, one mech gun with a custom mega cannon for 45 points. Um, this has a D6 number of shots, uh, basically strength 8, AP minus 3, and D6 damage. Um, but uh, they they only hit on a 4 plus uh, ballistic skill, uh, and they don't have abilities for rerolls. Um, and goths, of course, the culture for non gretching units is that they they get exploding sixes in melee, so they are extra strong in in melee. Um, and and if they charge, etc., they they get plus one to strength. Thankfully, Fall Blight's Von's ability with the Revolting Stance Vats takes away uh, the, their ability that they have uh, charged if they are within his uh, six-inch uh, relic. The patrol is Death Skulls. Uh, so here is a, a war boss in mega armor uh, for 150 points. He's also a truck boy, uh, so he can also uh, disengage, disembark, and and, and advance and, and charge the same turn. Um, the troops, uh, 10 small Gretchen to hold the backfield, and then in the fast attack, 5 Storm Boys, uh, and those, those uh, based on the Death Skulls, they can re-roll 1 hit roll or 1 wound roll, uh, but most and more importantly, infantry units uh, gain objective secured. So the Storm Boys also have objective secured, like the, the Beast the Snaga Boys. In the heavy support, 2 more Mech Guns. And then a transporter, uh, the truck on fortress on wheels, 90 points. So I was really interested to, to see how it could, would fare against the kill rigs with 16 wounds each and being characters, psychers, vehicles, transporters, and, and everything. And ramshackle also. So if you if you um, attack them with less than strength 8, uh, then they, they have a minus 1 to the incoming damage. So we rolled for a mission from Grand Tournament 2021, and we got uh, Battle Lines. Um, this I also played in the tournament. So I, like in the tournament, I, I opted for, for the similar um, uh, objectives that, that, that I have, uh, secondary objectives that I have took in my tournament. So I took to the last. Uh, here it will be Demon Prince and the two Plague Burst Scrollers with Entropy Cannon. Uh, Demon Prince, of course, not as, as uh, many wounds and durable maybe as Mortarion, but still... Uh, Hoping to at least the, the Plague Burst Scrollers should be able to survive. Taking assassination, the enemy um, the enemy army had uh, had a multi three three characters, and then the kill rigs are also characters, so five characters uh, possible to to max it out. And then vital ground, the mission secondary here. If you can control the middle objectives and the objective in your opponent's deployment zone, you can get two points each for those and. You score additional uh, when you score your primaries, so it's something that that fits well with this mission if you can go up and 
and take the objectives. The orcs uh, took stranglehold and then assassination. In my army, I also have five five characters, and then um, and then uh, vital ground also. That's the mission secondary. So uh, when we deployed, um, I deployed um, in the, the death guard. Uh, I, I chose one of the unit of death shroud to deep strike. I think that's always a good idea, keeping your opponent a bit like uh, trying to screen out his backfield. They don't necessarily want your death shroud to come in and make damage on the back line. So just keeping one unit of, of death shroud in deep strike. And I wanted the others on the table to be able to fight uh, the orcs when the orcs, if and when they would, they would come crashing into my lines. Uh, I deployed. Uh, the the pox walkers to close down the lanes of of of, of the charges uh, for as much as possible and I want if if the orcs wake a wag first turn they should probably they should basically only be able to hit the the pox walkers if they even if they kill them out I have my my strong melee units uh, behind them so I can make an effective uh, reply there I hid my cow spawn inside this building uh, and I I, I Basically had two strike groups in mind, a mechanized strike group with a demon prince and the blow drones and the plague scroller with speeders. So those can go up and try to go to this objective. And here we have the foot infantry group here where we have the, the de one unit of death shroud terminators, the plague marines, and then the, the foul blight spawn in the middle to, to give them the six inch aura of negating the opponent, the ability to fight first. Um, and then the Lord of Contagion here, also giving reroll once. I have Arch Contaminator and the Foul Blight Spawn, so all all plague weapons can reroll at least in melee or 12 inch shooting, the plague weapons at least, uh, and the plague caster in here as well. The Taliban I just hid in, in this building. Uh, I didn't know if uh, he should go forward here, mostly to give plus one to the, for example, to the plague marines, um, and then uh, uh, he could uh, just gain me some command points. So that was my idea. Two groups, uh, one fast and one uh, one a bit slower, but but uh, protected from the foul blight spawn and with a potent melee in in both uh, in both areas. The orcs they deployed also uh, quite aggressively on on the line here, uh, and uh, they have the kill rigs where where the beast snaggers. Uh, they have each carry 10, 10 units, ten uh, uh, beast snaggers. Um, the the truck uh, has the war boss and the, and the mech boys on this side with my foot infantry and then the squeak hog boys uh, on on the flanks um, then the mech guns and here behind we had the the Gretchen uh, the weird boys here and then we have the two storm boys on the on the backfield they can advance a full six inches so they could go to the objectives if needed and also now they are screening the back line from the death shroud uh, coming in. We rolled the dice and the orcs got the first turn uh, and the game uh, was off and I was <laughs> was wondering to see what would happen with all these uh, all these menacing looking orcs uh, looking down at my poxwalkers. So uh, in the orcs, uh, orcs turn one, uh, the orcs decided not to go for the full wag and, and try to, to go to my to my lines. So they they made a move. Uh, basically, the whole line made a move to come towards the objectives in the middle, and, and they came with one kill rig um, to each objective, um, and basically, uh, yes, taking good board presence uh, to the objectives here. Um, the 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 orc shooting uh, was was not efficient. Uh, it it made more noise than damage. Uh, I lost a few pox walkers here and a couple a couple of pox walkers. Uh, nothing, nothing uh, severe, uh, and one of the death shroud uh, was uh, left with one wound. Uh, thankfully, I could save. So I command point rerolled one and, and saved one of the death shroud, and and the mech guns uh, didn't do uh, didn't do much um, much shooting. I think it was only one of the kill rigs scoring two wounds on the on the on the death shroud. A lot of the weapons also were damaged too, so uh, maybe not so uh, yeah, not so easy to to score wounds on on the terminators. So the mechan's very swingy and, and not very efficient. So basically that was it and no charges in, in turn one for the orcs. Uh, the orcs managed, of course, to score the stranglehold for three points and are well positioned with the objective. So I'm quite forced with a stranglehold 
to to try to come. That was also my plan from the beginning. I need to go up and and contest uh, the objectives and take the fight uh, up up the field. So in my death guard uh, turn one, I I brought back a few box walkers on on the yellow group on this side, and and therefore I could advance them on to the objective. Uh, the the box walker screen moved uh, forward. The one group in the middle, one group here, and then the other group couldn't advance very far, so they couldn't come quite up to the objective. Uh, and here, uh, the demon prince with his retinue of blood drones uh, overflies the the box walkers. Uh, to be able to charge, so the idea is to try to charge and, and try to take take this objective um, with the, the mower and the demon prince and the plague, uh, the the one with the speeders to be able to shoot some exposed uh, orcs and the plague scroller moved up to also to be able to fire with his speeders and and yeah just coming coming up the board the whole. Uh, foot uh, foot group uh, move moves up and uh, trying still to keep within the bubble of the foul blight spawn with plague marines on one side and the death shroud on the other side and the characters uh, basically in the middle here box walkers protecting a bit from the front but this group had lost quite a lot of box walkers I couldn't effectively screen uh, uh, very I couldn't screen very effectively on this side. Uh, in the in the death card shooting, uh, the plague verse crawler, the foul blight spawn, the foul blight spawn with the pathogen had a strength eight, so very strong weapon versus the kill rig. Uh, basically, the, we destroyed, we made more than sixty wounds on this kill rig. Uh, but then the snagger boys on inside they disembark and they take control of the objective. They have more more units uh, than my poxwalkers, and I could bring poxwalkers to this objective. Uh, the speeders and bolter fire uh, managed to kill um, almost. They only left two orcs left in one of the beast naga boys that was that was in this in this ruin here, and then the demon prince and the the mower drone made their charge and they actually the demon prince destroyed the kill rig. I think also I have maybe softened it up with some shooting, um, but the demon prince uh, basically destroyed destroyed the kill rig um, with with a warp uh, insect hive. Uh, with with his sword, uh, a strong sword, uh, damage three, making re-rolling everything to hit and to roll was really really strong. But again, the beast naga boys, uh, I couldn't pro I couldn't make them not being able to to come to the objectives with disembark and they with objective secure, they still hold the objective from me. But the two two kill rigs were eliminated in turn one, and here we have the the, the snaga boys uh, disembarked. Um, so the kill rigs were out, but but the orcs are still on the objective, and now uh, it comes the crucial turn where the orcs uh, can still uh, do a lot of, of of damage. So orcs turn two, it's the big uh, wag or war or whatever, whatever now the the, or the orcs are are shouting. So everything um, they are looking to overwhelm the death guard with with charges. Um, in the in the shooting, uh, some of these box walkers uh, were died, and and only a few few were left to help screening here. Uh, and basically, um, all, everything moved up uh, from the truck. The the mega knobs and the the war boss uh, could could um, could disembark, uh, advance, and and they are very clear here to make the charges. Here we have the plague marines, the death shroud, and my characters in the in the in the protected bubble of the foul blight spawn, um, <clears throat> and. Uh, here the the squig hogs uh, move up to charge the the, the drone the, um, the 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 last uh, orc boys come out here also charging the other the other blow drone and the 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 um, the, be, the the beast boss uh, charges the the demon prince so uh, everything here charged the bubbles the the mega knobs could come and make a charge to the taliman who was a bit unprotected on the back and the, the plague marines and uh, the beast boss also charged the the plague marines he couldn't charge here and then the squeak hogs uh, charge the death shroud, and the um, the orc boys uh, they they charge I think only the the pox walkers. Uh, but here, um, I could uh, make uh, I chose with the foul blight spawn to make the mega knobs uh, fight last. Um, probably uh, maybe I could have done something differently, but but I, that's what I chose. And the Lord of Contagion makes a heroic intervention on the on the boys. So here everything here that charged uh, the bubble they cannot fight first. So the um, the orcs start with um, with a beast boss uh, trying to kill the demon prince, but he did uh, five wounds to the demon prince. 
he had the, the ability to um, re-roll or, or to, to try again with everything that didn't inflict damage, but the AP-2 weapon that he had was not efficient uh, due to the hulking physique of the Demon Prince, so I was able to save on three pluses. Uh, and only I think only five wounds, um, four four five wounds uh, were were made on the on the demon prince. So here I chose uh, to to interrupt and I took the death shroud here so they could strike on the squeak squeak hogs uh, down here. Uh, and uh, I chose the sweeping uh, the sweeping attack so multiple attacks twenty six attacks uh, rerolling once uh, hitting on twos and then with the arch contaminator from the foul blight spawn as well rerolling everything in the wound phase so basically they annihilated the the whole uh, squad of of squig hogs then uh, the, then uh, so the the, uh, the the lord of contagion managed uh, the, yeah then we continued over here i think i lost uh, both of my of my blow drones to the squig hogs and the, and the orcs here and um and um, and um, the 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 then my Lord of Contagion uh, chose to fight first, so he decimated the boys. I don't know if there was like one or two left. Uh, he also used a, a sweeping profile, and he he was he was really strong uh, against the the boys here. The war boss managed to kill three of the plague marines. Uh, the plague marines um, they, they two survived, one with a flail. They could hit the knobs, taking one out. Uh, or wounding one, I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly. Uh, and at the end, the the mega knobs uh, wiped out the marines and the and the taliman, and they they tag the plague caster. I, I think I removed one of the of the mega knobs. Um, and my demon prince fought back and made also uh, quite severe wounding the the beast bots. But now uh, again, the the orcs could score a stranglehold uh, again uh, by by keeping um, keeping the the objectives here. But but they had lost a lot of uh, important units uh, on on this side, so now it was the turn of the Death Guard to to strike back. So uh, the main orc forces were committed, and and Death Guard uh, began the, the counter attack. So I moved the Lord of Contagion and the Death Shroud up to come to the truck and to go to the objective. The the Pox Walkers moved up to attack the Squeak Hawks and to go to the objective, taking like for the objective secure. The Playboy Scroller um, on the back moved up to hold the objective and the Cow Spawn uh, could come here to help the Playcaster that was tagged with uh, Mega Knobs. Uh, and uh, I, I chose that the Playcaster didn't fall back so he could cast magic on the, on the Mega Knobs, hoping that that the, the Cow Spawn would, would help him. And then instead of going back with his troops here, because I needed really to fight for the, for the objectives here, um, and the death shroud that I needed to teleport, it was quite screened on the on the back line here. I could bring them here so they could charge the the war boss that was hidden inside this uh, this ruin. Well, that was at least the plan. Um, so in the in the psychic phase, then the plague caster uh, managed to kill three of the mega knobs. Uh, so he he made a good smite, and then the curse of the leper. I think I did uh, five five mortal wounds uh, plus the fallout six mortal wounds, taking two out. So basically there was only one mega knob left. So the the plague caster really uh, had a had a hot hot day in the in the office. In the in the shooting, I I, I killed um, quite a lot of the squig hogs. Uh, one of the mech guns uh, and the mortar fire took out uh, the storm boy, uh, some of the storm boys uh, in in the back line, or, or crippled them. Uh, and the, the the oncoming death shroud, they they made their charge. Uh, when 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 things go well, they, they also make the nine inch charges. Uh, let's say didn't even have to do a command point reroll, but they made the charge and they killed the the war boss uh, here. Um, and the cow spawn, they charged the mega knob, the remaining mega knob, and they killed the last one with their with their razor sharp claws, getting AP minus four. And and because with a two plus save of the knobs, suddenly they had very poor poor saves, and they 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 died to the to the multiple attacks of the chaos spawn. The Lord of Contagion, the, he wounded the truck, and he could go to the objective. Uh, but then the beast boss uh, managed to slay the demon prince. I couldn't um, keep him there, so the beast boss was still alive on on this side. But uh, overall, the orc numbers were rapidly thinning out, and and death guard uh, is is coming um, close uh, up the field, uh, starting to come uh, to to claim objectives and 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 yeah, a, a very strong let's say uh, death guard turn two here where the orc forces were already committed. 
So turns three and four, and then moving on to the end of the game, uh, the orcs moved up the storm boys uh, to the objectives. Um, the beast boss uh, killed the pox walkers uh, to to contest the objective again. Um, but and and as I had moved a bit forward to go to the objectives, my lord of contagion was the closest model to the enemy weird boy, so he, he was smited, uh, smitten for three mortal wounds. Uh, but the mechans uh, still had inefficient uh, shooting. Uh, in the death card turn three. Um, the storm boys uh, and, and the truck and the mech gun is destroyed. The uh, the plague scrollers had a, decided to have a very lackluster shooting, so I couldn't take out the the, the beast boss. But they had good shooting in the other turns. Uh, but the game is pretty much uh, really over at this point. Uh, everything tipping in in death card favor. Uh, in turn four, weird boy he managed to smite a lot of contagion and kill kill him again. The plague caster was not in range to deny. Uh, and the mech gun um, finally found its aim and kill, killed my foul blight spawn, which I've left a bit unprotected, uh, coming away a bit from the death shroud. Uh, so I should have been playing a little bit more careful with my Lord of Contagion and foul blight spawn. But at, the, at that time, it was it was just routing uh, the enemy and not thinking about uh, safety. <laughs> let's say um, the the death card um, basically killed, killing the remaining few orcs, and we 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 did in the fifth turn uh, the. Uh, the weird boy and the Gretchen that were left uh, were destroyed with a Playbrush Scroll and Mortar, uh, and the game ended uh, with an 81 61 uh, Death Card victory. So, uh, this is the scoring sheet where the, the orcs they had the control of, of multiple objectives, scoring the Stranglehold, Vital Ground in the beginning. Uh, but, but then, uh, as the game progressed, uh, then Death Card coming up, uh, scoring full primary points the last two rounds, also scoring a bit on the, on the Vital Ground and to the last, I lost my Demon Prince, but the two Plague Scrollers were never in danger, and maximizing assassination. Also, the Orcs got good assassination since I lost my Demon Prince, I lost my um, my um, my Lord of Contagion, my my Foul Blight Spawn, um, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, 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 yeah. All in all, um, a, a, a good uh, Death Card victory uh, and. Uh, a bit advantage on the points from the orcs, and but the death card inexorably advancing um, got the the win at the end. So uh, <clears throat> some summary and key learnings of the game. The orcs in this list they have the speed advantage, uh, and taking the stranglehold secondary objective, um, they also are forcing death card to commit and and come up the table. I mean, death card. Uh, this this death card list has 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 better shooting, su superior shooting, um, compared to the to the orcs. Uh, and if we just stayed and and were like from a distance, I, I think the death card would have been e easily um, winning here. But of course, the 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 orcs can put a lot of pressure on the objectives, and they are very strong in melee. The screening of the pox walkers in my deployment was really helpful because a lot of these uh, units here. Uh, with the WAG and advancing and being able to charge and and some of them can out advance six inches etc. They have a very a very high threat range. Like something like a kill rig could move like 20, 20 something inches and and make an easy charge. Uh, but because of the pox walkers, it was not much point for the for the orcs to do so. They would be completely exposed to the to the death guard counter counter charge with the main army behind the lines here. Um, so, but but then, uh, as the orcs, uh, of course, uh, did the the correct tactical move to move up to the middle and and take the objectives with stranglehold, I had to push up. I had lost a bit of my screen and I couldn't screen efficiently uh, the second turn. But this bubble was quite protected in in any case. So basically, the bubble with the fire blight spawn uh, aura in the middle. Uh, won the game because a lot of a lot of uh, orcs charged it, but with interrupts and fighting, choosing to fight first and not not giving the orcs the benefit of of fighting first, really made a, a, the, the the difference and and won the game, taking away the advantage that the orcs have in melee. Um, I, I think it was good that I could take out uh, both kill rigs in turn one. Uh, the shooting was good, and with the Demon Prince also very strong, taking out the Kill Rig, because before the game I was a bit worried, how can I take out 32 wounds, toughness 8, but with Entropy Cannons, Mortar, and Demon Prince in melee, uh, that that was that proved to be uh, feasible, let's say. The Fast Strike Force here with Demon Prince and the, and the Drones, 
it, 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 it didn't wait for the screen. I had to go up and push for the objective. They killed the kill rig, but then afterwards with, uh, with the orcs uh, counter charge, uh, I lost both of the drones. Uh, the Demon Prince survived thanks to Hulking Physique, so really strong Warlord trait for him. The Warp Insect Hive is really strong to, to kill him. Uh, in hindsight, I should have probably taken some other guy for the Warlord, not the, <laughs> not the Demon Prince. Um, so, so he could be, um, so he could, he could, he didn't need to score four points to the opponent in the beginning. Uh, the fast, uh, they were annihilated here because here they were not protected also by the Farp Light Spawn, and that shows also how strong the Squig Hawk boys and the Beast Naga boys, etc. Everything in the, the Orc army has very strong melee capabilities. But as I said, the Death Card in the shooting department, the, the Death Card are far superior to Orcs with uh, the Plague Rush Crawlers, at least. I overextended, as I said, my Lord of Contagion and my Farp Light Spawn and, and put them in danger. At that time, the game was already uh, tipping in my favor, and I ba basically won. But then, that that's a bit sloppy play, and and lost him with yeah. That didn't need to be the front uh, unit to be smitten uh, smitten by the by the weird boys or something to to keep to remember. Um, other other than that, uh, everything in the list performed as it should. The Plague Scroller with the speeders was quite strong, and um, yeah, the orcs didn't go for for him. They had to focus to try to take the objective, and the speeders were quite good against the orc boys and even the squig hawk boys, etc. The volley gun was also also good with a strength six. It can also wound the, the squig hawk boys and and the orc uh, the orc boys toughness five now. So the, that's that's a quite strong weapon against against the orcs and with six shots within twelve inches. That's also quite uh, quite decent. Um, and, and um, by the way, this is the first time the Chaos Pawn survived. They also did what they should <laughs> should do. So uh, all in all, I think, uh, yeah, the, 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 the key learning, of course, is that the Foul Blight Spawn is a hard counter for melee orcs, really taking away their main advantage, their, their speed. So Poxwalker Screen and Foul Blight Spawn uh, is really strong uh, against uh, the orcs. So reaching to the final thoughts, so, so a very interesting game. Uh, it was not, uh, fun to see the tactical play in turn one, and then followed by a very brutal turn two. A lot of points uh, destroyed in that in that turn. A lot of back and forth. Everything was engaged. Everything was charged. But from that turn, it was only uh, let's say basically a, amount of t uh, a matter of time where Death Guard uh, would uh, would turn the table uh, on the on the orcs. So with the superstar uh, being the Foul Blight Spawn. Uh, like Leonida said in Thermopylae uh, 2,500 years ago, come and get it, orcs. But of course, he didn't say come and get it, orcs. But come and get it. Uh, take take away if you if you want. Come come to our lines. We are not afraid. Uh, but I'm I'm really curious of what how I would have played if I played my Thousand Sons, because maybe I would have screened with Changors. But then in turn two, uh, if all the Terminators or Rubrics or something like that they would have been charged by. Um, by uh, the orcs and the orcs fighting first. That's that's probably a, a a matchup where orcs would would like to have those odds. So um, thanks for the good uh, good game, Rasmus. And I hope the mech gun dice will be better for you in the future. Um, the the D6 uh, shooting with four plus ballistic skill didn't didn't really help. They only did uh, they only did two three wounds. Three of them shooting for four turns uh, was really really poor performance by the the mech guns. So uh, this uh, summarizes the battle report. What do you think about this uh, this matchup? What do you think about this analysis? Um, what are your experiences facing the new orcs? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe uh, uh, to my channel, where I will be focusing more uh, on Death Card tactics videos, uh, reviews, also looking at Thousand Suns, battle analysis, and key learnings like this. And if you want to further support my efforts, uh, please visit my Patreon page. Uh, take part of the discussion there. Um, really appreciate uh, the patron's support. And with these words, uh, General Ganis is signing out. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.